Hey, what's happening? Paul Ingram here, Collie Center. Welcome back to our Drill a Day Collie Training Series. We are on week eight, day number four. We're continuing on with our flow. So what you're gonna need today is a training knife for our solo free flow training today, also known as Carenza, also known as Saya. It's a solitary free flowing dance of Kali, of the different weaponry and all that of Kali. So grab your training knife, make sure you subscribe to the channel, smash that thumbs up button, leave me a comment below, and let's train. On today's training, we are continuing on the focus of flow, building the flow at the same time, building up our stamina, building up our endurance, so that way we can start to last longer durations of time. What? But you said consistency is more important than the duration of training. True, but we still want to make sure that we are able to perform at an optimal length of time as well because that will translate to functional skills because we don't know how long we would have to perform for. Plus, if we know that we can uh, go straight, solid, perpetual movement for 30, 40, or even 60 minutes, then uh, I'm sure we can uh, have enough of the endurance that we need to last an altercation that may be you know, a few seconds or a few minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we're doing here. We are gonna go ahead and combine the free flow movements of the knife. Okay, we have some of those basic movements, the slashes, the thrusts, and those jabs. Now we can also work this all in the reverse grip. We got those thrusts, we got those slashes, and we got those fast jabs. Remember, we got the hooking. We have the slash into the thrusts, okay? We wanna work all of these different ideas and movements and transitions into our free flow, into our Carenza. If you need a refresher on some of the knife movements, the techniques of the knife, make sure to click and go over to the Drill A Day training playlist and go check out the week of the knife focus. I believe that was week four. Rewatch those videos, review everything, and then you got some of those uh, fresh ideas for the movements of the knife. Then, execute today's training, you get it done, and freelance. Don't necessarily copy those drills move for move. You wanna start breaking them apart and being able to start dissecting and freelancing the different movements, the different tactics and techniques into your own expressive flow. That is the idea of Carenza. So the training that we're doing this week is we're trying to hit a duration of 30 minutes. That's what we're going for. We can change the intensity level within that 30 minutes. Sometimes we're going super intense and fast, making sure that you can still maintain form. If you're moving at a speed that your form is getting all out of whack, out of sorts, slow it down and make sure that you are training at a level that you can control, right? The precision of the weapon, very, very important. Over time, you can gradually pick up the speed and gradually increase the intensity as your skills are getting better and better. The second type of Carenza that we can interval with is a Tai Chi style. So as we're going full blast, right, boom, boom, we're getting kind of tired. You feel that the chest is starting to get heavy, the heart is pounding real hard. Instead of stopping and taking a break, I want you to come back down into more of a Tai Chi and start to control your breathing, stay focused. You gotta stay mentally sharp during all of this and just kind of go nice and relaxed, focus back on the coordination of the movements, and then once you've catched your breath through movement, then you can go ahead and pick it up and blast again for however long you can. And then just repeat and you know rinse and repeat going through those two intervals, intense and Tai Chi. All right, that's the training for today. Get it done. Once you've completed your 30 minutes of training, 
Come back here and in the comments, hit done, finished, complete, thumbs up, and let me know that you completed today. That way I know that you're ready for tomorrow's training. If it does not work in your schedule to nail out 30 consecutive minutes of training today, go ahead and break it down into two 15 minute segments. Worst case scenario, or maybe you just don't have the endurance for that yet, that's totally fine. Break it down into three 10 minute segments and uh, try to shoot for 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. All right, we're just trying to build that endurance. It's not about trying to, you know, can I start off you know, this super beast mode out of the gate. Maybe you can, maybe you have that, but training is all about personal progress. So just kind of be that competitor against yourself. And if you can't hit that 30 minutes, that's totally cool. If you're trying to go for it, but you're like, dude, I only got 10 minutes in me, then take a break and come back to another 10 minute segment later today and then finish that 10 segment, 10 minute segment, and then hit another 10 minutes or whatever you've got and build up to the 30 minutes. It's totally fine to not achieve it, but it's very important that we're building up to that goal. If you wanna further your knife training and you wanna go real deep into this category of Kali, the fourth area of Kali, the knife, I've got a complete knife fighting course over at our online school, KaliCenter.training. I've got the link in the description below. We cover everything on this thing. We're going from the basic handling forms, the basic handling skills, the footwork, the close quarter, counter offense and defense, you know, all that stuff, all the way into the bridging attacks, how to attack and close the distance, reopen it up, engage multiple opponents. It's a complete knife fighting course that we have available over at KaliCenter.training. The cool thing is I've got a discount code in the description below. I'm gonna give you a great discount. So use that code and grab our knife fighting course today. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, leave me that comment below, and check out becoming a sponsor to the channel. Click the join button right below this video, and then you get access to a whole bunch of exclusive videos we have right here on YouTube, but only available to the sponsors of our channel, which really helps me out helps the team out to keep pumping these videos out for you guys. All right, get outside, go make nature your training dojo for today. Finish up your knife Carenza, and I'll catch you back here tomorrow for day five of week eight. All right, see you later.